Hi guys, and welcome to another one. This is just a quick little video, just to get it out there. I know there's been a lot of retaining players, and I'm saying there's still nothing to do. Well, there's the daily adventure quests. Now, to put it simply, if I go to the Atlas, if you zone into each different biome, which is permafrost, cursed, desert, bay, candoria, got lagging, Neo, Neon City and Lumopolisis, or however you say it, the Jurassic Jungle, Dragonfire Peaks, Forbidden Spires, any of the igneous ones, so if you're comfortable in Uber 7, go there. There's two quests in there. Uh, one is complete five dungeons and the other is do ten fishing. We go to the air weld. It's collect five gem boxes. And if you go to the uber drowned world, there's two quests in there as well. Which is collect five boxes and gem boxes, that is. And do ten fishing. So do all the daily adventures in every zone. Sorry about that. It was lagging like hell. And basically you get a daily quest like this. Make a donation in Luma Policies or however you say it. Go to the donation station and just simply donate this and you will have done that daily quest. Hopefully when you get it, I have got it with that one, you will get a locked strong box which looks like that, which looks like any other box that to be opened. And what you've got to do is go to this merchant, buy a key, which costs 500 adventuring, but you'll soon add up more adventuring than you actually use on these keys, because you don't get one per quest. It's just random if you do get one. So what we'll do, we'll purchase one of those. Go back to the strong box, well the lock strong box, and open it up using triangle, using the key. And you can get alloys, mounts, and costumes. Now the costumes are like a really rare drop that you do get out of these, but they do go for horrific amounts of flux on the marketplace. There is untradeable ones and tradable ones. Obviously, untradeable, you won't be able to see them. But I'll just give you a quick look on what they go for. These are the ones that I haven't already collected. So you can see them going for a quarter of a mil and upwards. Now I am trying to get them doing the daily quests every day. Trying to get them to obviously build up my mastery because these prices are a little bit silly. But obviously if you can get one put it on the marketplace or lay in it for the mastery. And that's about that for this one, guys. I did want to really keep this really, really short, just so all the retaining players and the new players, of course, have got an idea of what they should be doing every day. I'm doing it for the mastery. You guys doing it for the flux? I don't know. If this did help you, give it a like. If it didn't, let me know in the comments section below. But uh, as always, guys, Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.